an honor and privilege to be part of such a wonderful committee, which by far is the hardest working committee of the end of this township. We brought for great entertainment and fun for our citizens almost every month of each year, which takes a lot of time and planning. But it's worth it to see all of you at events like this, enjoying the festival and visiting with family, friends, and neighbors. As chairperson, I've taken great pride in planning these events. Most have been very successful, but there have been a few that left us scratching our heads in dismay. Chuck will vouch for me, right Chuck? <laughs> but no matter success or failure, as a volunteer, it has been a wonderful journey that I will cherish for the rest of my life. Being a volunteer is one of the most satisfying experiences, and to anyone out there, young and old alike, consider volunteering. It'll give you great joy to know you're making a commitment to serve others. I know that we all have busy schedules and families to take care of, but serving others can be a very rewarding experience. I would like to thank all those who have served in the Special Events Committee, past and present. Having a team of people to help make events successful and having leaders behind me has always been a confidence booster. Thanks to Chuck and Teresa for always being there to offer their support and help. And to Pam McDaniels, what would I do without you, wherever you are, Pam? They say behind every good man, or woman in my case, is a great woman, and Pam is that woman. Thanks so much, Pam, for all your help. And a very special thanks to my dear friend, Mary Motter, who was at my side for more concerts than I can count. We were a real team, Mary and I, and I thank you for your help as well as your friendship. My parents instilled in me the importance of family, and I must say I have the best family in the world. So I would be remiss if I didn't thank the most important people in my life, my sisters, Maria, Susan, Catherine, Annette, and Regina, and my brother, Dominic, and Mark have supported me during these 25 years of service, either stepping in to help, offering secret donations, or attending various events. My nieces, Brianna, Michelle, and Laura have also lent a hand throughout the years, as well as cousins, aunts, and uncles. My own family, mainly my husband, Frank, my daughters, Melissa and Francesca, my son, Frankie, have been coerced into working events, serving on the special events committee, entertaining when necessary, and any other jobs I needed them to do. Frank has cooked hot dogs, been a chauffeur, and supported me through every event. Melissa has been my right-hand girl for all the events, and Francesca was my front girl, always willing to step in wherever I was needed. Frankie's my musician who has entertained at many of our events, so some willingly and some a lot of coaxing. <laughs> so you see, if mom is volunteering, they are volunteering too. To them I give my greatest thanks for tolerating all the times I put special events in the forefront. My grandson Isaiah was so excited when he heard the news about me being chosen Grand Marshal. He called me and said, Norny, I'm coming to the festival because you're being honored. Now let me tell you that Isaiah is five years old, going on 14 or 15. Anyway, I asked him what it means to be honored, and he replies, you get to be in a parade. And he quickly added, and you know, Norny, I have never been in a parade before. So what do you think my next question was? You guessed it. So Isaiah, would you like to join me in the parade? To which he responded, absolutely, Norny, that would be epic. Yes, epic it was these last 25 years. There are no other words to describe it, and I hope all of you out there enjoyed the past events and all the future events planned for the citizens of University Township. But since change is the one constant in our lives, it's time for me to close this chapter, start a new one, and move on to other experiences. To the Mayor and Township Committee, thanks again for this honor. So, Lewis, can you take that flag and let me get a nice